Hey everybody, this is Linda Bean, the Outreach Coordinator for the Kellyanne Dolan Fund. Um, welcome to our Shining a Light on amazing local businesses who have given so generously, generously to the fund over the years. And now it's time to kind of shine a light and give back to them. The restaurant industry has been hit tremendously hard. Um, and I want to welcome Chad and Kristen Reese from Sweetbriar Cafe up uh, in Ambler. Hi guys, how Hi. you doing? Good. good, how are you? Good, good, welcome. Hi. This Thank phenomenal you. business is one of my go-to. It's kind of on my running route. It's one of the businesses that I've chosen to support um, during this difficult time while we're all sheltering in place. And I wanna shine a light on them. So, um, my favorite, the black bean burger. I've got two adult children back in the house, one a vegetarian. So it's homemade from scratch, delicious. We've been trying to pop by there at least a couple times a week to show our love back for the support that they have given um, to the fund. So welcome you guys. Tell me um, a little bit about Sweetbriar Cafe and your story. So we have, Kristen and I have owned Sweetbriar Cafe for a little over a year now. Um, previously to that, I have been the chef there for the past seven years when Frank and JT Talese were the owners of the cafe. Um, and there's Frank there. And they were just not only our bosses and our owners at that time, we became really good, close, personal friends with them. And we know that a couple of years ago, uh, Frank fell sick and unfortunately we lost him. Um, and at that moment is when JT came to us and said, you know, if you guys are ready, whenever you're ready, take your time. But we both wanted you to take over the cafe. And so we got our business in order and we made the decision on um, March 11th of last year to purchase the cafe. So we've been owning it. I'm still running it as the head chef and the owner now ever since. And, um, you know, we didn't want to switch too much from the way that Frank and JT set it up, kind of added our own little twist to it, still keep that community vibe. And we've been moving forward with it. That's awesome. They were incredibly, um, and Jeanette still in, incredibly um, special people to the fund. Um, the Roots and Ambler run very deep. Um, for the support of the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund, um, Peggy and Joe Dolan creating that back some 43 years ago. And really out of that relationship with Sweetbriar, with Frank and Jeanette, um, came, you know, the Wissahickon Firehouse yes. and our partnership with the holiday program um, every year where now we're up to you know, 250 plus families that we're, we're supporting. So um, we're thrilled that you're carrying on um, the tradition. I know sometimes when I pop by and peek in there, there seems to be like, you know, groups of maybe some um, retired um, folks, a group of guys I remember um, in the last few months popping in and seeing kind of like their social hour. Uh, yeah. And you're really, providing, you know, incredible food, but a sense of friendship and community and a place that you can gather. Um, so I, I just think you guys are just incredible in the way that you embrace the community. Um, tell me a little bit about the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. Why continue that tradition? Why, why us to continue to support our mission? Well, again, it started with, uh, you know, Frank being a volunteer firefighter for Wissahickon and your connection with um, the firehouse and the Kellyanne Dolan Foundation. I, I believe it was five years ago at this point now um, is when we were first invited to do the Taste um, fundraiser every year. And Frank immediately said, this is something I want to do. Uh, you come up with the menu, whatever you need. Product wise, I'll go get it for you and, and let's make it happen. So we did that and I really enjoyed my time being there. I enjoyed the connections uh, that I have made personally there um, with all the staff and, and the media following. Um, 
And just, you know, to, the cause itself meant so much to Frank and JT that that cause took over a spot with me as well. And I wanted to continue to do whatever I can to donate to you guys as such a wonderful organization. Um, and, you know, just being able to cook the different food and, and meet different connections is something that I did not want to um, stop doing. So every year we look forward to it and continue to look forward to being able to participate in the taste fundraiser for the Kelly Ann Dolan Fund. Pretty amazing, you know, the way that this, this um, pandemic unfolded with COVID in the early days, um, we ended up having to cancel our event um, the day of. And I was really struck when I popped by and introduced myself to you um, at your reaction. Um, it was so selfless. It was, look at this, this tradition, near and dear to Frank and Jeanette. Yep. We support you. We've got your back. We'll be there when you reschedule. Not yep. at all about how this situation impacted you two days after we had to cancel the event. You had to close your dining room doors. Yes. Right? Yeah. But you, you've stayed open. Um, and this is what we want to do. We want to shine a light. Charities are always looking how local businesses, corporations, individuals can support them. This is our time to say thank you, express our gratitude for how much you've given to us, and what can we do um, to support you. I was really struck by a quote um, that you had on your Instagram page. Um, Alone we can do, do so little, together we can do so much. So tell me, even in these trying times where you're trying to keep your doors open through takeout and curbside, you're still doing other things for community. What are you doing in the area? Yeah, so um, something that, you know, when we first learned about the, you know, the shutdown and what that was going to look, we didn't really know what it was going to look like for Sweetbriar for us, but um, you know, we stayed open doing the takeout and Chad and I were just going through like a really, you know, emotional time about making these decisions and we kind of just looked at each other and, and really wanted to find a way to still have some value to our day and, you know, waking up, going to the cafe, the two of us every day, day in and day out, it was like, what are we going to do? You know, we weren't that busy at first and we couldn't sit there and play 500 rummy or look at each other much <laughs> longer. So we um we had a pretty good um, community connection with the Wissahickon Valley Boys and Girls Club. Um, so we reached out to a lady there, Donna, and we just said, hey, listen, um, Chad wants to cook and that's what makes him happy. And, you know, can we drop a warm meal off to maybe a family that's struggling a little bit more, you know, now? And Donna was super excited. She reached back out to us. She gave us, you know, some some information about who we could reach out to. And then um, you can see in that graphic there, uh, another local place we work with is Rocky's Hot Sauce. And um, they caught wind of it on our social media. And Rocky showed up to our ice cream window for lunch takeout one day and offered us a really generous um, donation to kind of keep delivering these meals to families in need. So before we knew it, we kind of were getting, you know, about uh, two to three families a week to bring lunch or dinner to and just kind of say hi and wave from the sidewalk and you know get that connection for us was important too Absolutely. so that's been something we've been doing behind the scenes to kind of keep us going behind the scenes which is what's you know so amazing um you're not looking for the thanks the limelight the exposure it's just something that really you cook from the heart and you care for the community. Yeah, and this community means everything to us. You know, it's what we base our business on. Our home is in Ambler too, so we're, we're entrenched in this community and we want to continue to be a part of that. Pretty amazing. So tell me, um, what can we do to help you? We wanna give back. How can we help Sweetbriar Cafe, a staple in the community that's using locally sourced products, um, produce, meats, we want to give back. Give us the rundown. Yeah, I think, you know, Ambler, 
they show up all the time. So, you know, whether it's just stopping down for some food or, you know, to get an ice cream cone or even just to kind of give us a wave and a smile from the sidewalk is, is good for us. But we're offering, you know, our full menu. We extended our hours this week um, to start weeknight dinners again. Um, we're going to have some longer ice cream hours now that we can get some more staff back in the building, which we're really excited about. We, we miss our staff, our family. Um, so we have, you know, our weekly specials still going. On Tuesdays, we do our $10 burger and shake. Um, Wednesdays, we have the chicken, cheese, steak, and fries, $7. And then on the weekends, Chad continues to make a daily dinner special, um, three courses for $25. And um, yeah, I think just any way they can show up in whatever that means to them means the world to us. So just keep coming out and um, hopefully we'll see them on the other side soon. That's awesome. And I'm thinking, I, you know, there are a lot of first responders and healthcare professionals um, putting their lives on the line every day, working grueling hours. Um, social distancing or isolating themselves from fa family. I'm thinking if you're in a position in the community, um, if you could sponsor um, a local firehouse or a local EMT group, this is a business um, that has heart, that cares, that gives back. Visit Sweetbriar and you know, touch the lives and, of those first responders and healthcare professionals. Uh, yeah. In a meaningful for way. Our, yeah, for our first responders, you know, just a little shout out to them too is that we, um, something that we feel really important is that we offer 20% off to our first responders every day. And, you know, come out, we're here. You know, we have a group of EMT guys that used to come in for breakfast weekly. We miss them. So, you know, any way that we can support and help them, just let us know. Yeah. Awesome. That's wonderful. Well, I want to thank you um, for your friendship. I feel like we've gotten to be friends over the last yeah, month. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, but for your commitment to um, the mission and mm. supporting the families of the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund, yes. and even more your commitment to the Ambler community and everyone that you know needs a little bit of. Uh, you know, silver lining and friendship and gratitude now. So thank you so much thank for you. taking oh, the time out of your day. Yep. All right. See you soon. All right. Bye. Take care. Thank, thank you. you. Yep.